12 signs of liver problems shown by your feet Our feet can tell us a great deal about our health and give us many clues as to what is happening inside our bodies. Many people suffer with silent liver damage, which can cause problems with blood flow and poor circulation to the feet. Over time, the feet and the lower legs begin to present signs and symptoms that there may be something wrong with your liver. In this video, I'm going to highlight the top 12 common signs that your feet give you about liver problems. You'll also learn about what caused these problems and how to fix them using natural methods. Just my usual reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor to properly diagnose any medical problems. The first sign is a swollen right foot. One of the most common signs that you have liver disease is swelling called edema in the right foot or the lower leg. When you press your finger into a swollen area, it may leave an indentation. This is triggered by a buildup of fluid in the tissues, caused by poor blood circulation from your liver. The second sign is spider veins. If you have liver damage, you may start to develop small, red, spider-like blood vessels on the lower part of the leg or the foot. These blood vessels become damaged when your liver isn't doing its job in filtering out excess estrogen. The higher estrogen causes the veins to dilate and become visible on your skin. Number three is white or clubbed nails. The toenails may appear all white, or they may change shape to a more boxy, square or club-like appearance. This indicates that not enough oxygen and nutrients are reaching your nail bed. This can be a sign that your liver isn't functioning normally and absorbing the nutrients needed to keep the nails strong and healthy. The fourth sign is flat purple bumps. One of the liver's main jobs is to filter toxins and chemicals out of your blood. However, if your liver isn't working properly, toxins can start to build up in the blood and cause skin irritation, such as these purple flat bumps or a rash on the feet or legs. This can sometimes indicate a viral infection in the liver called hepatitis C. Sign number five is cracked heels. If your liver isn't making enough bile, your body will be unable to properly absorb certain nutrients like omega-3s. This causes cracking beneath the feet and the heels. Cracked feet also indicates a vitamin B3 deficiency because this helps to keep the liver clear of fatty deposits. Sign number six is staining. If you have patches of red, brown or yellow stains or bruises on your lower leg or feet, this can indicate problems with blood circulation coming from your liver. This normally happens when iron becomes trapped underneath your skin due to poor liver function. If you're finding this information useful, please tap the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with health and nutrition tips. Coming back now to sign number 7, itching sols. If your liver is congested, it becomes backed up with fluid and bile. This causes bile salts to start accumulating under the skin, which causes histamines to build up in the blood. This triggers a reaction and the feet will feel very itchy, especially on the bottom. Number 8, purple or red spots There is another condition called ecchymosis which causes these little purple or red spots to appear on the skin, around the lower legs, or on your arms. This is often caused by poor circulation from the liver, or it could possibly be diabetes. Sign number 9 is a burning sensation. If you frequently feel a burning or a hot sensation in your feet, this can indicate nerve damage from high blood sugars or prediabetes. People who have this usually have insulin resistance and fatty liver disease. Number 10 is toenail fungus. If the toenails become thicker, yellow, and crumble easily, then you likely have a toenail fungus. This can sometimes indicate liver problems, as there is an imbalance in the microbes of your body, causing the yeast and fungus to grow on the toes. 11 is a bad odor. If your liver is full of fat, 
toxins can start to build up in your blood and leach through the skin, causing a very bad odor on the feet. This can also be linked with intestinal damage or kidney problems. And finally, number 12 is yellowed skin, called jaundice. If the skin on your feet and the rest of your body has a yellow tinge, or the whites of your eyes are yellow, then this is a sign that your liver isn't filtering out bilirubin properly, due to excessive liver damage. Causes of liver damage Now that you're aware of some of the signs and symptoms of liver damage in your feet, take a look at what usually causes these liver problems, and then we'll explore five steps that you can take to help repair and restore your liver. Firstly, and perhaps the most obvious, drinking alcoholic drinks damages the hepatic liver cells because it has to remove alcohol from your blood. Another cause of liver damage is eating too much sugar, refined grains, and carbohydrates, which all turn into blood sugar. This is the most common cause of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and is usually accompanied by weight gain around the stomach. Certain medications and painkillers also damage the liver and the kidneys because they have to work hard to remove the chemicals from your blood, especially statins and antibiotics. Furthermore, common vegetable oils and margarines, and even salad dressings, are usually made from seed oil that are highly processed and can cause massive amounts of inflammation in the liver. I recommend replacing these with healthy fats like extra virgin olive oil or raw coconut oil. Finally, if you have liver damage, eating too much protein and not enough vegetables can cause further problems, because it causes a buildup of nitrogen waste. How to protect and repair my liver Now we'll explore the 5 steps that you can take to start healing and repairing your liver. 1. Start consuming liver-cleansing foods on a daily basis, such as lemons, garlic, radishes, arugula, mustard, Brussels sprouts, cruciferous vegetables, and other bitter vegetables. Bitter foods contain antioxidants that help to improve liver function so that it can detoxify harmful substances from your blood. Secondly, for a fantastic liver cleansing remedy, you can mix 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, and 1 12 teaspoon of black seed oil in a glass of water. Drink this mixture twice per day. This drink helps to normalize your blood sugars, helping to clear the liver of fatty deposits. 3. Stop consuming alcoholic drinks, sugary foods vegetable oils, and refined grains. These all present toxins that can cause inflammation in your liver and make it harder to break them down. 4. Take a supplement which contains purified bile salts or digestive enzymes at around 2-4 capsules per day on an empty stomach. This promotes the flow of bile from your liver and gallbladder. This substance breaks down fat and turns toxins in your body into harmless particles. And finally, number 5, follow an intermittent fasting meal plan, where you eat all of your calories in a 5-hour window and fast for the remaining 19 hours. This gives your liver the opportunity to clean out the blood and stimulates healing of the liver cells. Following these five key steps will help your liver to repair itself from existing damage and inflammation. If you have presented any of the signs and symptoms in this video, it's highly recommended to visit your doctor for a checkup. Liver damage is often silent and can go on for years unnoticed. It usually starts off by the liver filling up with fat and then it becomes inflamed. Then, it starts to form scar tissue and can form permanent damage called cirrhosis. If you'd like to learn more about the top vitamins, herbs and natural remedies to heal your liver, go ahead and tap on this video playlist on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video, and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.